bon à venir faire une gossip non hein yes Okay, guys, so we are up for another video. So the lady you see on the screen right here is alleged to be having some kind of fling relationship or something with the pastor Jamal Harrison Bryant. Um, it is being alleged by Tasha K that she ran into these two um, in which it seems like she caught Kari is her name off guard and it looks like Kari kind of ran away and then um Tasha stated that she noticed Pastor Jamal Bryant so they were together and trying to pretend like they were not so it is being alleged that they are in some type of relationship now here is pictured um kari turner and jamal bryant with some other members i'm not sure what church they're at um, but just to give you guys a little backstory pastor jamal bryant is the ex-husband of giselle bryant who is messy as all get out on um the real housewives of potomac obviously you guys know that they are no longer together they got a divorce um as Giselle described him as a cheater, cheater, pumpkin eater. And I don't know if you guys remember Monique, honey. Monique brought that binder to the reunion that last season she was on. And she said Pastor Bryant was slinging his B <laughs> everywhere. His B, D. <laughs> now, I don't know. This is what Monique was saying. Um, so apparently he's slinging it somewhere because tasha k stated that she saw dr carrie hopefully i'm pronouncing her name right i don't know if it's carrie or kari she saw them in um looks like somewhere in florida and it looks like when dr Kyrie spotted tasha k she took a drastic turn um and it looks like pastor jamal bryant was in the vicinity and probably didn't realize what was happening into it had already ha happened tasha k stated that shortly after that she tried to go to um dr Kyrie turner's instagram page in which she had already been blocked now listen the actions is looking quite suspect because everybody know that tasha k is a blogger and obviously if she sees something she gonna tell it like she did so what would be the reason to when if you see her that you would run so what was that all about then she immediately blocked tasha k from her instagram and social media pages now in that first video that i posted that was actually dr kari turner during that supposed day that she saw tasha k now at the bottom of that picture which is now i think she removed it she had hearts and everything so you see her blowing out two candles and you see her with a cake in front of her but someone else is there who is not being shown in this photo um she's smiling she's glistening she even put hearts in the comments but whoever it is with her is not saying a word so it is alleged that it is actually pastor jamal bryant which is very interesting because if he's single and she's single what actually are they hiding from so why is it such a bad thing if they are seen together i'll tell you why because they work together and she is allegedly the co-pastor so yeah you probably shouldn't be messing around with the co-pastor but again they're both single so i feel like if this was something that they were doing on the up and up then it would look better if they just introduced this to everyone instead of going around sneaking and hiding because when you hide something that kind of what makes people think that something is up to no good 
Now, Tasha K is stating that y'all ran. You didn't have to like physically run, but to see somebody and know who that person is and you immediately take flight. When I say take flight, I mean you turn around, you walk away, you cover your face. That means that it is something that you're doing that you don't want other people to know. Generally, guys, come on now. Whenever we do stuff that we don't know, we, we don't want other people to know, either it's a secret or we're doing something wrong. So what occurred here with allegedly Bishop or not Bishop, Pastor Jamal Bryant and Kari or Carrie Turner? What was y'all doing and why y'all had to go way to Florida? Oh, we know why y'all had to go away to Florida because you got to hide. But people be all over the United States. Obviously, y'all couldn't been gallivanting around Georgia, Atlanta. So you went to Florida to have you some lover's time because you most definitely wasn't smiling with them long eyelashes that you were batting at the man sitting across from you who was allegedly Jamal Bryant's when you was batting them eyes, honey, and um, with them two candles. So it is being alleged that he is now slinging his, what is it, BBD? Yeah, BBD around the church. Now, we heard this before. Now, Monique said this before, um, that that's what he was doing. But again, it's on the sneak tip, and he is supposedly banging his co-pastor. Here is another picture of Miss Kari here, honey. It looks like these were pictures probably allegedly that, um, you know, Pastor Jamal Bryant took of her. These look to be posted during the time they were celebrating her birthday in the state of Florida. And here is my final close with this. They are obviously two single people. So the issue would be you're sleeping with someone you're actually um, in position and in power over. I don't know what the rules is of that church, church or if this is something that is acceptable to the congregation, being that this is the same church that Eddie Long was just doing. Oh, y'all already know. Um, and then he came in and took over as pastor. And now allegedly he's there sleeping with the co-pastor. Well, well, it's not children. So that's, that's a good thing. Um, but let's get serious here, y'all. This is unacceptable behavior. Clearly it is because if it wasn't unacceptable, they would not be hiding. Now, this is all alleged. Tasha K put the receipts out. She said she saw them, and I believe her. I don't think she would just make this up. Um, you know, they know when they see Tasha K to take flight, honey, because they know she gonna have them on blast. So y'all just let me know what y'all think in the comments. With all of this stuff going on with these churches, we got um, T.D. Jakes, we got just, it's just one thing after the other. Why is it acceptable to be knocking boots with your co-pastor? So just say that this is a relationship that they are just developing. Well, be honest about it and take it to the people at your church. So therefore, you don't have to run hide and, and run and hide and be put on blast kind of like you're being put on blast right now. Um, Because for one, I don't like, especially when it's a pastor and you're standing up of people or standing up in front of your congregation trying to teach them about God, but yet you're doing the same things that you're probably telling them not to do. Not saying that you're perfect, but I think that you will come out better when you own your mistakes because we are all in fact human. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments with regards to this Jamal Bryant Harrison or Jamal Harrison Bryant, whatever his name is, and possibly having some type of fling. It has to be a fling because why isn't he telling people? And as I search him, her name comes up as somebody he was flinging with for some time now. So y'all let me know what you all think in the comments. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And as always, I will catch you all in the next video. Thank you.